Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights over Arkham. This time we are trying out another of the contest entries for my New Year's giveaway contest. It is the Rex Murphy deck uh, and it was submitted by Metastrophic. Let's look at the deck a bit first. So we are playing Janktastic in the No Rex. So the uh, Binder for their car for this deck is in the no. Uh, I have played in the no previously, but uh, I haven't played a lot of Rex Murphy because Rex is on the taboo list, and I really am not that interested in Rex's ability. And I seldom play uh, Seekers that are focusing a lot in only uh, getting clues, but. The deck seemed so interesting, and I love the scenario that was suggested at the return to the Phantom of Truth. Uh, so I de decided to film this uh, playthrough of the deck. So let's look at the deck. And uh, we have, uh, of course, two copies of In the Know in the deck. There are a lot of uh, things that boost our um, movement ability, like shortcuts. Then, of course, because Rex can take five of class cards, there is a good card for solo playing Lone Wolf. Then, two copies of Track Shoes. Track Shoes are a good card in this scenario because the map is big and you have to move around. So, the idea is to run around, uh, leave clues behind, and uh, then combo in the know, or for example, vantage point to get those clues out of high shroud locations and move them to your current location with the lower shroud and also combo with Rex's ability to pick up extra clues if you succeed by two or more. One of the newer cards is breaking and entering. It is a rogue card and I have tried it once in a Winifred deck and I really like the uh, card, so I think it's a really good shoe in for Rex deck. Other than that, there are some neat tricks like uh, Seeking Answers level 2 and also Truth from Fiction to get more charges onto In the Know. But I think we should just start playing with the deck. The random weakness was Amnesia that I pulled at random, so nothing special, and the deck is only 9 experience, so there is only one basic weakness in the deck. So let's get into the scenario. Uh, we are playing the return to version of the Phantom of Truth scenario, and as suggested, I am going the Conviction route. So we are running away from the Organist, and uh, trying to survive the night. I am using for the first time my brand new player mat, so <clears throat> I'm still a bit fiddly on the layout, on how I want to keep uh, my stuff on the table, but I think this is a decent way to lay out the uh, encounter cards and the act and agenda, but uh, We'll see, and I hope the playmat is not distracting. It's a Kickstarter playmat from the Power, uh, Power Plant Games that just arrived today, so I was eager to get it into play. So I uh, hope, you, hope you guys like the playmat also, but leave comments below if you uh, like or dislike the playmat or anything like that. I'm happy to hear and always want to get feedback on the quality of the videos, but that's enough of the uh, deck and scenario, so let's get started. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, we randomly selected the uh, special token, so I have uh, two copies of the Elder Team token in the back, so these guys, and uh, we have 
already pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our open hand of five cards. So we get a shortcut, breaking and entering, inquiring mind, manual dexterity, and crack the case. I'm not really uh, liking any of this. I really want some assets right at the start. So, I think I'm mulliganing all of it. So we get uh, Dr. William T. Melson, uh, two copies of Vantage Point, Fieldwork and Shortcut. Okay, well, at least some something to play and start moving. So, we'll shuffle up the deck real quick and start playing. Okay, and I think first action will be to play down fieldwork. I'll just place the fieldwork over here. Then I'll play Dr. William T. Melson. And we have these cards in hand, so uh, last action I think I'll move to Montparnasse. So, after you discover any number of clues from Montparnasse, discard cards from your hand with that many uh, uh, willpower icons amongst them if you cannot take one horror. Okay, so we'll place one clue here. And I'm debating if I want to use shortcut to keep moving. I think I'm fine staying here. So that's our whole turn. Uh, next turn I think we'll move somewhere else and uh, move some of the clues around. So we'll go to upkeep. No enemies, so upkeep we draw one card, we get working hunch, we gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. Uh, threshold is six. Encounter card is uh, frozen in fear. So uh, we have to get rid of that at the end of the turn, but so first move, fight or evade will cost two actions, nothing we can do about that. I think I'll... Uh, I'll leave this clue over here. I'll move to uh, Notre Dame. So Notre Dame is a four shot location with one clue. As a, re a fast action will play uh, vantage point. So uh, we'll move one clue from our reveal location to this location and also uh, lower the shroud by one. And uh, last action we will investigate. I'll commit the working a hunch to this test. So, I'm investigating 6 versus 3. It's a plus 1. So, uh, I'll just use this counter to put on Rex when I use it, because I'm using the uh, taboo version of Rex, so it's only once per round to use his ability. So we get two clues, as I get one clue and succeed by two or more, so I get another clue. And uh, the objective is to have two clues, so let's see. So 
So we have to spend the required number of clues as a group to advance. So I think I'll do it now. So if I spend the clues, spawn the set aside organist enemy at the location farthest from all investigators. Hopeless, I defeated him side face up. Uh, hopeless, I defied him. So I think this is the uh, farthest location. Well, I'm, I'm just placing the organist over here. Actually, place him over here. And uh, we'll mark the organist with these. And uh, advance to Act 2A, start by shadows. Okay, so now, uh, stalk by shadows. Uh, we need to spend one clue as group, either place one doom on the current agenda or automatically evade the organist. And uh, survive three nights. So now we need to. Uh, keep getting clues and run away from the organist and try to advance this agenda deck as fast as possible. So, uh, uh, while you have more conviction than doubt this agenda gains when checking the doom threshold doom on cards other than this agenda subtract from the total doom in play instead of adding to it. So, uh, doom on the table will uh, lower the amount of doom on that card. So, next we'll test for the Frozen in Fear. Uh, I'll commit the shortcut for this test. I really want to get rid of it. I'm testing 4 versus 3. It's a minus 1, so we managed to get rid of the Frozen in Fear, which is really good. And uh, we still have this one copy of Vantage Point in hand. Then um, I should have advanced maybe in the, after the enemy phase or at the point where enemies move. So I'll have to move the organist and uh, the organist reads post after the organist moves from the hunter keyword. If it is unengaged, resolve its hunter keyword again. The organist cannot attack this phase limit once per round. So it moves once and twice so it comes to here and that is uh, the enemy phase we go to upkeep we draw a card get a lone wolf gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn now we add a doom to the agenda encounter card for this turn is marked by the sign peril revelation test will about two if you fail take two horror if the man in the pallet mask is in play, horror dealt by this effect is considered direct horror, and this test gains plus two difficulty. Oh yeah, this should have been discarded already. Uh, we'll just test three versus two. It's a zero, so we pass the test. So, um, I think we need to run into the Garden of Luxembourg and uh, move from there to or actually we could uh, pick the clue from Montparnasse but I think I'll save that for later so I'll move to the Garden of Luxembourg it's a three shroud location with one clue. While a via key enemy is moving, if there is an investigator at Gardens of Luxembourg, that enemy location, enemy's location is considered to be connected to Gardens of Luxembourg. And there is one clue here. So I'll uh, move, I'll play Vantage Point as a fast action, I'll move one clue here and lower this to two and investigate. 
and I'll use the field work which I totally forgot. So I'm uh, investigating uh, 6 versus 2. And it's a minus 4, so we get one clue. And last action, I'll just investigate again. So. Uh, it's still a minus one to the shroud, so uh, four versus two. Uh, it's an auto fail. Nothing we can do about that. And that is our turn. Yeah, uh, now I noticed that I should have moved once more so that the organist doesn't catch up with us, but. It is what it is. We can use a clue next turn to automatically evade the organist. So the organist hunts, hunts again. So I'll just place this here. So the organist is basically on our th threat area, but he doesn't hit. So we go to upkeep. And we draw a card. We get seeking answers. Investigate. Uh, if you succeed, discover two total clues from one ones to your location and connecting locations. So that's pretty good if we manage to open up a bit more of the map. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had another doom. So we are six of uh, three of six doom now. Encounter card for this turn is. It's a uh, praying Bayaki, so it comes into play. I'll just uh, place it over here. So, when engaged with an investigator uh, with remaining sanity of four or fewer, swap praying Bayaki's fight and evade values. Okay, well, this is not what we really wanted to see this turn. Okay, let's just check. So, if I spend one clue per investigator as group, either place one doom on the current agenda or automatically evade the organist. I think we we're in a bit of trouble, and that's a fra fast action. So, yeah, uh, we have plenty of um, agility icons, so we could try to evade. The Praying by a key first, so I'll try that first. So I'll commit Lone Wolf and seeking answers. So 3 plus 3 is a debate of 6 versus 5. Not good odds, but it is what it is. Or should we do the. Or, well, yeah, it's a fast action, so we can react to this test first. So. Okay, so minus one, uh, we'll evade this guy, then we'll use the clue to automatically evade the organist. I think I'll try investigating here before we move out. So I'm investigating, uh, yeah, I'm investigating. Uh, Four versus three, and it's an elder sign. It's a plus two. Uh, I decide not to fail this, so I'll grab this clue. Then uh, we'll move out. We we'll move here, and that is our turn. Enemy face. Nothing happens. Upkeep. These guys ready. We draw a card, uh, we get in the no, and we gain one resource, so that's good. Now we have the in the no, so we can start running and then pick up clues later. Okay, so um, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We 
we are at 4, Doom of 6. Encounter card for this turn is a Swift Bayaki. Well, <laughs> we are getting all of the Bayakis. Uh, so this spawns engage with us. I think I'll drop my clue here. I, I really can't afford taking another enemy. So we can uh, draw a new encounter card. So uh, Dr. William T. Melson is uh, exhausted. We drop our clue and uh, we draw a new one. Okay, so uh, we get um, instead of an enemy torturous courts, test will power 5. Let's test that. Uh, testing 3 versus 5. It's an uh, elder thing, uh, which is minus 2 if you fail, lose 1 resource for each point you fail by. So, uh, I failed by 5. So. Uh, four actually. Well, I have only four resources, so there goes my resources. Then, okay. If you fail, put torture scores in the play near threat area with one resource on it for each point you fail by. So it's five. Oh, yeah, this guy's here, by the way. So that was a really nasty combo to get the Elder thing and this. So we basically trashed all of our resources. So now we uh, can't play the in the know, unfortunately. So um, I think uh, we need to start moving. So first action we'll move to the Opera Garnier. It's a six route location and one clue. While you are investigating Opera Garnier, double the value the base value of your skill, so it's 8 versus 6, so I think that's good odds, and we'll use the field work. So I'm in uh, 10 versus 6, so up by 4. It's a minus 2. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a extra clue here, so we'll just grab this one, and then we'll move again. And I'll move up to the uh, Grand Queen Goal. It's a three shard location with one clue, forced after you reveal Grand uh, Guignol. Uh, you must either take two horror or shuffle all non-weakness cards from your hand into your deck, then draw an equal. Okay, so I'll just shuffle this one card, and shuffle and draw one card and we get uh, breaking and entering so I think it's a okay trade because uh, we are low on resources so we can commit this if we need it and that is our turn enemy phase uh, this guy hunts here and the organist hunts twice and uh, upkeep, we draw a card, we get shortcuts, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at five, Doom of six, and count card for this turn is Hunting Shadows Peril. You must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. Uh, at this point, I'll just take the damage. Then uh, we'll just start moving. So I think I'll try investigating not here but on the next location. So we'll move. Move to Montmartre. It's a two shroud location with one clue. Uh, action, spend one resource, add one supply or ammo token to a card you control. Well, if you don't have any, so we'll just uh, exhaust field work to investigate here. Uh, so I'm investigating 6 versus 2. It's a minus 1. So we get one clue, 
will spend uh, as a fa uh, no not we won't spend them yet we'll spend them next gen because we're advancing next gen by the way and uh, last action we'll move to the canal saint martin so it's a three shot location with one clue but uh, we want to get more distance between uh, us and the organist so I'll play the shortcut to move to the Pere Lachesse Cemetery and that is a one shot location with two clues so hopefully we can grab two clues from here after you successfully investigate you cannot leave okay well that is nasty well let's think if we want to save that for later anyway we'll resolve the hunter keywords because that is our turn so the organist moves here and here uh, let's see this guy is uh, one two three four one two three four so just move it over here and that is the enemy phase we go to upkeep we draw a card, we get in the no, we, and we gain one resource. So I think I'm uh, abandoning these clues here. I play in the no in a couple of turns. Now I just keep running. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we advance the agenda. So daybreak. Each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with him or her and may move to a connecting location. Move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator to a location with no investigators if possible. So the organist moves one location away. And uh, let's see. So I can move to a connecting location also. So I'll, I'll move here. And, uh, actually, uh, we can't move the organist away from us, so let's just keep the organist there. Yeah, that's, I think, okay. And then, second night, we have a shroud of five, uh, the threshold of five for the doom. So, while you have more conviction than doubt, this agenda gains. Uh, when checking the Doom Threshold Doom on cards other than this agenda's track from the total Doom. Uh, so, same as before. Okay. So, put this over here. Oh yeah. Actually, put this one over here too. Okay, and uh, then uh, we get an encounter card, and it is figures uh, figure in the shadows. Uh, so, if you have more conviction than doubt, resolve the organist hunter keyword. Okay. I think we are dropping a clue. Uh, let's draw again. The pale mask beckons. If the man in the pallet mask is in play, he attacks each investigator. If he is not in play, he searches the draw deck of the player. Okay, so we get the man in the pallet mask in play. Let's see where we spawn him. I think the farthest location. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. So I, I'll just put it over here. Really doesn't matter. 
So that is the mythos phase. Let's go to the investigation phase. So this turn I'm just uh, moving one. Uh, and two, and I'll gain one resource. So one, two, and one resource. So uh, then I'll. Oh yeah, uh, we drop one clue here. So oh yeah, this should be re uh, revealed. So there are actually two clues here now. Okay, and we couldn't have uh, moved from there. So we entered there, yeah. So we have to redo our whole turn. So I think I'm just investigating because we can't leave here this turn. So I'm uh, investigating, so we have to move to a location, if that location had one clue, so I'll also exhaust the field work for the first one, so we haven't um, taken the resource yet for this turn. So, once one, uh, I'll use Rex's ability. I'll grab both of these clues. Then we'll get the resource. And uh, let's get an extra resource. Or uh, I think I'm drawing a card with the last action so we get inquiry in mind. So, uh, enemy phase, this guy hunts here, uh, the enemy hunts here, so I'll fast action use one clue to exhaust the organist, so the organist can't attack. And that is the enemy phase, we go to upkeep, uh, we draw of cards. I'll actually yeah yeah uh, we draw one card when we gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Spires of Carcosa. I'll drop one clue down. Cancel that. Now we can also use our Inquiry Mind here. And uh, we get a new card, and it's marked by the sign. So we test Willpower 4 because the Man in the Palette Mask is in play. Uh, I'm testing 3 versus 4, it's a 0, so we fail and we take 2 over. Take 1 here and 1 here. Then, uh, first action. I'll uh, play breaking and entering. So, add your Agility value to your skill value for this investigation. If you succeed by two or more, you may automatically evade an enemy at this location. This attack doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. And uh, it costs three to play because of this torturous chords. So uh, we are investigating seven versus one. It's a minus one. We'll grab this clue. We'll evade. 
the man, uh, the organist. Then uh, second action will uh, move and uh, last action will just move again. Go to the enemy face. Uh, this guy hunts here. Nothing else upkeep. Uh, we ready the organist and other cards. Gain one card, another breaking and entering, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. The encounter card for this turn is Hunted by a Bayer Key. Test Agility 6. If you fail, reveal the top X cards of the encounter deck where X is the amount of you fail by. If at least one Bayer Key enemy is revealed by this effect, choose and draw one of them. If at least one Omen Treachery is revealed by this effect, take one horror. Shuffle the encounter deck. So I have a evade of. Uh, Agility of 3, so yeah, I'm just testing uh, reverse 6. Minus 2, so we fail by 5. So let's see, we get a curse, a pact, an omen. Buy a key pact. So we have to take the horror and the buy a key. But um, yeah, this is we have, we are not drawing. We should have cancelled this, but too late now. So we get this buy a key and. Really getting too many enemies here, but it is what it is. Uh, first action, I will evade the Bayaki. We fail, evade it again. Uh, we evade. So this is evaded, and we'll move here. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. Uh, this hunts here. Uh, one, two, three, one. Yeah, hunt here. This guy hunts here and here. And uh, that is the enemy phase upkeep. This ready is. We draw a card. Manual dexterity, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom here. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Deadly Fate. Test will power 3. If you fail, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. You must either draw that enemy or that enemy attacks you from the discard pile. If no enemy is discarded, take one horror instead. So I'll just test this. Uh, so 3 versus 3. There is a clue in my location, so I think uh, for this test I'm using the inquiry mind. So 6 versus 3. It's 0. Uh, we'll pass. So uh, this doesn't resolve. Go to the investigation phase. I think I'm double moving and investigating the uh, Grand Wigno. So, first, yeah, first action is to move, second action is to move, and uh, we'll use the field work. So I'm investigating uh, 
6 verses 3. It's an elder sign, uh, we'll just succeed. Then, now that I have three clues, I'll spend two clues to add a doom to the agenda. So we advance next turn. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. Uh, this guy hunts double. And so this guy moves one, two, three, engages us, but doesn't attack. And this guy hunts. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So it actually moves back here. And that is the enemy phase. We go to upkeep. We draw a card in the no, and we gain one resource. So next turn, we could play in the no. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom, so we are at the threshold and it burns. Uh, a red sun rises. Each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with him or her and may move to a connecting location. So we disengage from this enemy. We'll move here. And then move the organism one location away from the nearest investigator to a location with no investigator possible. Check the camper log. If Jordan Perry is not listed under VIP slaying, search the collection for Jordan Perry and imposing presence and spawn him in the Mont Harness. So here so we get Jordan Perry there. And he's a big boy. But I think we're just um, keeping our distance. So we still can move the organist one location away, which we will do. So I'll move the organist over here. And uh, yeah, that is the. Agenda. So the third night, and the same thing, if uh, there is Doom on the cards in play, they subtract, and we have a Doom threshold of 5, so we still need uh, 5 more Doom to uh, win the scenario. Let's see how we do. Uh, the encounter card is uh, twisted to his will, so there is no Doom in play, so this game search. And the sign of Haster. Uh, that's the sign of Haster to either the current agenda or the current act. Limit one per agenda or act. Each time an investigator takes one or more horror, he or she takes one additional horror. Well, I think we we are start just starting this phase, so I think I'm dropping the clue. So we draw again, so we are using William T. Melson. So we get another card, and it is Deadly Fate. Test will about 3, if you fail, discard cards from the top of the counter deck. So let's see if we have any willpower icons to spend here, no. So testing 3 versus 3. It's a minus 1, so we fail. Uh, we right away get an enemy. And I'll decide to let it attack me, taking two damage. I'll take one on Mailson, one on myself, and one horror. And I'll take it on myself. So I'm just uh, saving a bit more space here. So changing these to three. And uh, that is the mythos phase. We'll go to the investigation phase. So uh, 
Uh, let's investigate. Uh, Yeah, uh, I think I'm playing the in the know now. So it comes into play with three secrets. And because of this, it costs one extra resource. Second action uh, will investigate uh, any reveal location in play as if you were at that location. Uh, so we'll investigate here. A bit in the now. So I'm investigating. Four versus one. It's a minus two, but I succeed, and I succeed by well one. So I only get one clue from here. That's okay. I will last action uh, move here. And that is our turn. Enemy face. Uh, this guy hunts here. And hits us. Uh, so we'll take two damage. Oh dear, we are nearly dead. So I think I'm taking one damage and one horror here and one damage here. So unfortunately, our ally. Dr. William T. Nelson is defeated. Things are looking a bit grim at right about now. So, oh yeah, going to upkeep, but this guy also hunts and engages us, so, but doesn't hit. And this uh, organist hunts twice. Okay, well. Let's see what we can do next turn. Hopefully we can get this evaded somehow. But that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom. Encounter card is and it's twisted to his will. So it's a willpower one test. And if we fail we discard two cards at random from hand. We succeed, so nothing happens. And now uh, this should have been removed already. Okay, well, uh, let's try to evade this guy. We have too much. Uh, Sanity left, so uh, evading uh, three, four, five, uh, six versus five, seven versus five, and it's a skull, and it's amount of doom in place of one, so we manage to evade this guy, and uh, we get one card from manual dexterity, which is amnesia, so we lose the in the know and keep the crack the case okay well second action we'll investigate this other guy and we are investigate um, invading so this is evaded uh, we are evading the other guy so evading three versus two and it's a skull again so minus one so this guy is evaded, and uh, just place this, this guy over here. Last action, we'll move over here. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. 
so now the organist can't hit us. Oh yeah, I think we forgot to hunt with Jordan Perry last turn, so we were up there, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, so Perry could have hunted here last turn. Uh, this turn, Perry hunts here, this organist hunts here, Gates is, doesn't hit us this turn. Those guys are exhausted, they both ready in the upkeep. Uh, we draw a card, we gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, counter guard for this turn is another enemy, praying by a key. So it engages us, us. Something we didn't want to see. Oh well. Uh, we'll have to spend one clue to automatically evade the organists. Then uh, we'll. Okay, we are surrounded by enemies. Uh, uh, let's try to. Yeah, I think this is the end of the game. <laughs> we are completely surrounded from all sides. Uh, first action, we'll try to evade. Uh, we fail, and we lose our resources from that. Uh, we'll try to evade again. We fail, and we'll try to evade again. But there is nothing else I can do at this moment, so... It's a zero, so we fail. Enemy phase. Jordan Perry moves in, hits us for two damage, uh, one damage and one horror. Then, uh, yeah, uh, these move in. And they hit us for one damage, one horror, which is enough to defeat us, and two damage, and one horror, and that is that. So, unfortunately we were not uh, able to keep running. Uh, I think one of the reasons is that we didn't find our track shoes. Those would have helped us a lot. Uh, maybe it was yeah, we, we got quite unlucky with all of the enemies. We got too many enemies. Uh, nothing much I can do about that. Still, uh, it's a quite challenge to go into this scenario with only 9 experience, so... Um, it is doable, but still quite hard. And I think we got quite unlucky with all of the enemies, so... Uh, at the end, we have one, two, three, four, five enemies in play. Four of them engage with us, so uh, actually six of them, uh, five of them engage with us, and the uh, man in the ballot, pallet mask, also in play. So not the best performance, but still a fun challenge. So thanks uh, for submitting the deck, Matt, and uh, hope you liked my try at this scenario with the deck. So as always, thanks for watching and until next time.